Good evening. It's October 13th. I want to paint this guitar. I got this guitar as a gift and the person who gave it to me gave me permission. They kind of came up with the idea that they were like, oh, you know, uh, Eric Clapton's guitar. Hopefully I'll like show it to you. I'll show you a picture of the artwork on Eric Clapton's guitar from Cream. Because he's got like an artist in this beautiful, I want to say a mural on the guitar. I thought that's such a cool idea. Um, I'm kind of happy with it actually. Oh, look at it up close. I think it's kind of cute. It's October 13th. Friday the 13th. Oh, crap. I have a Friday the 13th shirt. It's meant for Friday the 13th. Uh, we got the gourds. And this was my late dog's sweater. She used to fit in this little sweater. So I like to think I'm paying respect to her soul. So there's this beanie baby. All right, I always do this. It takes me a minute to get settled in. So I'm doing it with acrylic paint. Okay, here's my setup. Here's my little bin, deco art, and doll grandma. Now, with using some tape, you can see I already started here, but I kind of made this. I drafted some ideas in this sketchbook. So here's what I ended up doing here. Here are some other images that I was kind of like, yeah, I like this idea. I've already kind of drawn this in pencil, the sacred heart, burning heart. The philosopher's hand from like alchemy. This is a little reference to the red ants. Do you see there? The bottom one? They kind of trace the shape. Okay, with the swords. We have Celtic space stuff. I thought because, you know, my handle is now buggy crawls, I would try to do different insect. I have a little cherub dude, and I thought even like a profile of the human mind might be cool. It's fun to draw brains. So if I can incorporate some of these ideas in this project, that'd be cool. Here's some other doodles I came up with. So I had, I don't know, the horse is not really part of this, but I was considering doing like a border. So around this part of the guitar, that's the sketchbook. It's a unique little electric guitar. So, here you can see the reflection. And here are the concepts. So I have the conch shell with the eye and the sun. The light's like coming out. So the tears are falling out of the eye. And then we've done some clouds because it's like in the sky, right? Got a flower at the top. And as the clouds come down, I wanted to do splat background like pink, yellow, into blue lilac, right? And then we have teardrops and raindrops coming from the clouds. And they kind of fill up these spaces. I thought also it might be cool to make it look like it was like stained glass in some way. So like within the teardrop is like a picture or a design you know, surrounded by, not metal, but lines, in very vivid colors. Kind of like daytime, daytime up here. You still see the starling? Oh boy. I came, I don't know, I was tossing around the idea of doing like a night sky down there in the details. Yeah, I got spaceships and different space oriented things because I like the idea of being very galactic. Intergalactic. So I guess I'm gonna start. Ah, I'm just winging it. I did like a prime base so that the paint actually sticks, but it's like not, it doesn't have bubbles. Oh boy. I'm feeling very Halloween-y. I've been like watching lots of free horror movies on YouTube playlists. I think they're really fun. I'm super cheap and I do not want to pay for subscription services. And I just watched the freaking House of Wax the Paris Hilton, and the guy from Supernatural. 
Um, what's his name? Ah, uh, Jared. Jared Padalecki. Yeah, I feel like the 13th is like an underrated number. It's just a good number. It's not necessarily even. Oh no, there's some dry paint in here. Because, I mean, some say red's like a cursed color because it doesn't go perfectly with other colors. You know what I mean? Red and white's like Christmas. Good thing with red green. Everyone thinks it's kind of tacky. And uh, black and red's kind of goth, but I think that's kind of, you know, depends on what your vibe is. I love rainbows and the vibrancy of the color. Sometimes, not all the time. There is a beauty in like the muted tones, right? But that's not really what I'm going for today. Or life in general for me. You know, you can only imagine what life is like for the mantis shrimp. Or the octopi. I like this uh, pseudo spirituality images. Cause part of me likes the uh, spiritual symbolism that ends up just kind of like translating into real life principles. Cause if you think about it, older generations like religion was just like science. Like to do science, medical practices, education, uh, philosophy, it was all filtered through religious stuff. So now in this modern day, I think it's kind of interesting to reflect on and see like, I don't know how much of it was just based on reality. It was just like filtered through theology. And I do think there's something there, right? I guess also, oh yeah, I'm also partly inspired by like dreams. I have very vivid dreams. And I've just recently started experiencing sleep paralysis. Because it's like very strange when you can see the room you're in, but you like can't move. You're like conscious, but you're not awake. This is also my reading week, so. Being an adult in college is weird. For me, it's useful because like, I mean, the stress, I'm not in debt. This is why I've gone to college. It's the only reason why I have, because I haven't ended up in debt. But still, it is trying to, the goal for my one course, like post-production, is to become avid, an avid certified editor. And avid is so frustrating. Avid media composer is soul sucking. No, I'm not even gonna lie. It is so frustrating. I have tried importing media several times today of different various types or codecs or whatever formats and it just doesn't work. So it's easy to read textbooks and manuals but then using it is another, is another whole ball of wax. But I have this stuff that's like polymer. It's almost like resin, like plastic resin. So I'm hopefully, if I like it, I'm just gonna coat everything in it, a coat of that and let it dry. And it's still gonna be delicate, but it'll probably be a little more sturdy. And you know what? Nothing lasts forever. There is an impermanence to life, so why well, live in fear? It's another reason why you know my Instagram was taking pictures of street art. There's so much I've passed by nearly every single day. And I've been like, oh man, you know? Like I look at this all the time and it's cool, but like for one thing, other people don't see it, but another thing, like, it's probably not gonna be last forever. Like, with a lot of Aside from the legal street art thing, like a lot of graffiti is going to be covered up. And so this thing that you might like might just, bam, one day it's gone. I don't know, it's like a privilege to have a camera, especially in your phone, that can like quickly snap pictures. No one's going to know it happened. 
until you like seal it in media. I wonder though, someday like far, far, far in the future, they're gonna be like, oh, we have to make a new internet. There's a new kind of server. So like, you know, we have like archived history, like um, archived websites like Reddit or whatever that isn't technically around anymore. Maybe that will be <laughs> everything we know. I don't know if it'll happen. It's just fun to think about. So it's the same way like Vine just kind of went, boom, it's gone. Or LimeWire. I used to love LimeWire. That was like my favorite thing. Uh oh, I'm playing with the guitar. I'm beating it. Stop. This conch reminded me of SpongeBob. You know what I'm talking about? With the, and also the flowers. It reminded me of I'm a, I am a fan of cartoons, certain cartoon media. They just resonate with me. You know, Futurama and SpongeBob and. But you know what else? This <laughs> this conch. I can say a lot of this, even though it's something I just drew on a whim. But it's funny how like I did not draw this with any like meaning into it but after you look at it it's like oh for anyone who knows ween and the album well the song speaking of spongebob ocean man but um the mollusk so you know what i mean children come and bring your new found mollusk home i'm just seeing it the the trinity the gaze of the sun with its wandering eye. <laughs> anyway, okay. Another thing I thought about this after I looked at that. It's not phallic, but what's the word? Was <laughs> it looks like a vagina? No. See, that's why I put this little. There's like little. She's gonna have a crown up here right there you see it's this uh, foreboding gazing eye she's crying down upon the land well actually the reason why I like conscious because when I was a a little baby my parents moved to Bermuda the sea life the beaches that's I kind of like Spongebob and I think I left Bermuda when I was like five. I had a good stretch, a good source. So this is what we're working with right now. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I take forever to paint, especially while talking. This, oh my God, I don't know how this will turn out. Can you see? We're good. I'm just gonna like not stress about it. I've been feeling very um, sedentary recently, but also very creative, so I, uh. Well, I mean, school kind of does that to you. Even though parts of me like school, it's not always like, it's, it's definitely not the same as real world experience. But at the same time, I think it's a really great thing to get like other people's perspectives. What I like about this college is that it's diversity. There's so many different populations and people and ages and no one's like, all the same way, which I like because it kind of gives me freedom to be who I am, but also I get to be, mm, does that look okay? I get to be receptive of like other people. Oh. Well, also it's not like, like there are a lot of young kids in this college program that I don't often choose to associate with like 18 year olds, no shade, no shade to them, but I don't really know what the 18 year old perspective is like, you know what I mean? They have a different frame of reference and experience, let alone the people from other parts of the world. Especially like the divide between students and teachers. So not that it's a bad thing, they're just different people, you know what I mean? Like the teachers are industry professionals who are usually at least over 30. So there's like a really cool exchange going on. I think it would be cool right now to be, uh, be out doing like a witch stuff. You know what I mean? Being like a co. 
oven. Of course not a demonic coven. I'm seeing having a sun up here. It doesn't really fit there, does it? Just a half sun at the top. The problem with blue and orange is that it creates a brown or a green. Do I? Uh oh. Okay. Pause. Washing the brush. Washing the brush. That's what I've done so far. What do you think? Well, here we are again. I found it really hard to like paint and talk while I was doing this, so I may have made a few changes. I just couldn't help myself. I need to stand up too. I'm sitting like cross-legged and I was finding it like, it's cutting off my circulation. So, and I, I get sick of hearing myself talk. So I put on some YouTube. I was listening to some uh, Peter Mon, among other things, you know, it's too bad. Peter Mon's doing this, the Friday the 13th stream, and I mean, but I'm committed to filming this, so maybe I'll maybe I'll watch it. But here's to him, you know. You know what I'm saying? When it um, when your lips are as dry as mine, then it's little beauty time. This is the thing, you know what I mean? I actually did paint this, so hopefully. Okay, yeah. Let's focus. Here are the changes. I'll hold it still and slowly upward. I realized oh, a green eye might be cool. What a green eye. But I thought purple because it's like the least realistic eye color. People, you remember the um, that viral post? They were like, purple eye. It is what it is. I'm gonna do a blue in the middle of your eye. There's probably a better way I could have done this. Jesus. Jesus Lord. I like draw can you even see me right now? I like drawing more than I like painting. I'm thinking of making stickers and prints. Because I do like these colors. I'm digging it. I'm digging it right now. I think this is kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Just beat the devil out of it. Watch the brush and beat the devil out of it. Um.
I'm actually getting tired. So I might continue this tomorrow. Let's see the progress, all right. And let's see if I can just hold it. Um, see, and this what this vine comes up from. I'm gonna have to finish all this cell. Flower, the sunshine, the clouds, surf at the eye. And then as you see, I've gone down and outlined this teardrop. And I'm hoping, this is just a strip of tape that I've painted over red to see what it would look like. Cause I'm thinking of filling it with something. <sighs> so, that's what I've got. I kinda like it. Okay, see you later. Hi again. It's the next day. Guess what I got. Mm -hmm. It is the next day. Had some things to do. Here's the pound. Purple, orange, green, yellow, pink, blue. I did end up working on it last night a little bit. So check it out. This is what I've had so far. I was pretty happy with some of this. I spent some time. Let's look at an angle here. My aim is to start from the top. Work our way down. And start painting again. I think I said a lot of what I wanted to say yesterday, but not all of it. You can probably see here. Alright. This is not the right brush. I don't think I explained properly my spirituality and religion talk, but you know, whatever. I think I am just drawn to spiritual concepts. Um, I do like spirituality because I feel like it's a very big part of society that kind of goes ignored. It's a part of mental health. You know, spirituality and religion is part of mental health and it's generally a part of life that the world has become less focused around. I think it can relate to many different things. And also just a lot of art. I mean... Yeah, throughout history, like, everything was filtered through art. That, I mean, uh, religion, but that's kind of where I guess now we get to choose our relationship with spirituality and religion. I mean, not everybody does, because most people are, like, bored into religions. I think that plays a big part of why spirituality or religion is kind of inherited, so either people are like heavily indoctrinated to one spiritual the religious faction or they hate it. And I don't really like things that are super I don't like to think of things super black and white, personally. Yeah, this is a very Bob Ross moment. I feel like Bob Ross. I feel like this is a very calming activity.
think I'm gonna leave here. I'm afraid I have not. I like the detail how the purple eyeliner. Oh yes. And today I also got more records. So we've got the band. Fifteen dollars. I did like four records today. Oh no. From the antique shop. Here we go. We were live. Owned by Judy. Fifteen dollars. Slipping into darkness is a song that changed my life. I do like war a lot. So there's without the flash. The Supremes, fifteen dollars. It's got three discs. Oh, and a case that is separated. Linda Ronstadt from the seventies has um. Will, will you still love me tomorrow, etc. Okay, so that's cool. I really enjoy those artists. Oh, she's just staring at you back here. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, so we're gonna keep painting. Alrighty, righty, ready. So let's see how we, how much. I'm kinda happy with it actually. Oh, look at it, how close. I think it's kinda cute. Ah, uh, you know, I forgot to do the outline on this cloud up here. La 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 la. Alright. I think that looks pretty cool. Here's the whole thing. I'm still th if you have any ideas, let me know. I want to fill these teardrop shapes with something. And maybe some rain. Like raindrops coming down. Oh Jesus. Okay. Do you see there? The bottom one? See up close? See exactly where the dove is. So yeah. Okay. With the swords. The swords sticking out of it. We'll see. I'm actually kind of happy with it. I think the colors are very light and dreamy. And we gotta rip off the sides. Also, um, I wanna have some bugs. Because I think it fits my line. Again, here's my sketch. We've got, we've got, that's my, oh, sorry, that's my cockroach. They're all little beetles. I attempted like a potato bug. The rabbit. Okay, we'll see. That's it for now. Adios, amigos.